Good morning. We're dried up today. No rain in sight. Yay. I think stripes, I think I saw them in the front yard. I see Morris and no stripe. I'm sure he'll come when I call for him. Good morning, Morris. Tux is ready to go first thing on his walk this morning. Right. Well, it's a little, it's a nice morning. It's brisk. You know, the sun could be a little bit. Yeah, I think we got mid 30s, mid 50s, you know, the seven day. That's sort of what it's looking like. Normal, more normal. Well, I don't see Stripe. Hopefully he snuck his way back to where he's supposed to be. I'll be betting on it. Yeah. If not, this one looks like he's real on it, the watch. Yep. Yeah, he would definitely be interested to see him in not a good way. Moore was, was looking really upset that his buddy was missing, but he's back now. He came from the fence area too, so who knows what I saw in the front yard. And here's Stripe. Everything is good. Hey bud, you kept you got breakfast over there. Maybe Morris will come to the bowl leaving with me sitting here. Hi. Hi. Hello, Morris. I promise it's okay. Come eat with your buddy. Yeah, come eat with your buddy. I'm gonna just gonna stay s sitting. I could tell when I came up, Morris has actually already had some food. Good boy. Good boy. Next up on my agenda today is to at least build the floor for the uh, third floor. Yeah, not my favorite part of the mocks, the uh, big uh, buildings. But a very important part because with no foundation, no floor, you can't have the building, right? So, necessary. Well, it's kind of hard to stop, but I do have the floor assembled and I just have started the walls. And um, I think you can see in there that the stair step um, looks okay. It's all fit in there nicely. And... Uh, We'll be back at it tomorrow. Before I leave for the chiropractor and then Whole Foods, I really have a busy afternoon ahead of me. Um, I did get ready for the Easter Village yesterday and I'm gonna go up to the attic. I've got an hour and 15 minutes. I should be able to get the village set up in that amount of time. That's next. Don was off his conference call long enough to help. That one stays on the cord and I need two sets of hands to get it up top without yeah. clanging it together and stuff. So yeah, there's like five little houses that she has, you have to have a hand on each house. Exactly. Yeah. So it's all come together. I got it done just in time before I leave to go to Dr. Barnes. So life is good. You guys hold down the fort for me. Johnny will be out at three. It's going on two now to uh, feed everybody. It's already been up the hill one time besides me being up the hill. And Stripe and Morris are currently waiting on their afternoon vittles. For more attention. Or both. Don said he would have gone with me, but he just can't. So, unfortunately today, I didn't put stuff on my calendar that I should have so I'll have to actually type in the address not that it really matters two two letters right just like Google it kind of pops it up there and uh, it's right at 30 miles and I think I looked in the house it was like 51 minutes or something yeah 51 minutes 29 miles
I'm here and ready to go in for my appointment. I'm all adjusted and ready to head back across town to Whole Foods. Made an appointment for next week, same time. I plugged in Whole Foods Carry. Not that I don't know how to get there, but um, I figured I would, uh, you know, just navigate there anyway, see how long, how far. Foods, here I come. I do have a farm order today. I got uh, five pounds of ground pork sausage. No sugar, no nothing added to it. That's how we like it. Come on. I know I have no cell service. My load is nice and packed in there. Eight paper bags and two of the uh, six pack glass containers. One has uh, hard cider and the other has tomato sauce and mayonnaise and that kind of stuff. <laughs> Johnny, all those Caterpillar trucks are for you. It's coming along. I guess this intersection will still be here when it's done. Time will tell. Well, I enjoyed being in my car today. I enjoyed listening to my music. I see Don down there. Um, I knew he was out working in the yard. He messaged me. I don't want to um, pull up in front of him because he's going to have to come this way to let me through. Um, I'm not in any rush. I'm sure he'll see me in a minute or I'll get out and I'll walk down there one of the two. You can just barely see the GMC is down at the bottom of the hill. I see him moving now. He'll see me. I got my lights on. There he comes. It's only been a minute. Hello. Hey there, cutie. How are you doing in that red hot vehicle? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> you doing your southern boy thing with your truck today? Yeah, we're snatching out them stumps. <laughs> I do good being patient waiting up here for you it's to come great. out. Yeah, it's all clear. You just stay to one side, you'll be fine. All right. Yeah, he's working over here on the left. I told you guys yesterday, day before, we were going to take out those uh, holly trees that were growing too close to the driveway clean up over in this area looks great definitely see where he pulled <laughs> 